All right, we start the program with a tower like no other, built in an earthquake zone that looks like a twister. Now this building is a real marvel. This is Vancouver House. In 2014, with property prices shooting through the roof, developers are eyeing up every square inch of real estate in Vancouver. Because of this, a site previously considered too small and tricky is on the table. Right in the center of the city, it should be prime real estate. But its proximity to Granville Bridge brings with it a serious planning headache. Coming up with a design that overcomes the restrictions and creates a building big enough to make a profit will require architects to do some serious thinking outside the box. But then that's what Danish firm Big are known for. So out of the tiny triangular plot, their plan is to build a stunning new skyscraper, which will bend its way around the bridge and get wider as it gets taller. Pulling this off and stopping it from tipping over will need some serious engineering. The columns holding up the larger upper floors will have to navigate the building's massive curve and merge, getting thicker as they go down. Thousands of feet of tension steel rebar will run all the way from the top of the building to the bottom, literally pulling it into place. And to make up for the small footprint, the foundations will be super deep. Work gets underway, starting with the supersized, super strong foundations, critical to the building's success. To anchor a building into this tiny plot, the team intends to create 140,000 cubic feet of foundations. It will weigh a staggering 10 and a half thousand tons. With the foundations complete, the engineers now turn their attention to building the columns, which will hold the building up. On three sides, there isn't a problem. The columns go straight up and down like in a regular skyscraper. But on the fourth, the building twists and gets bigger, creating a massive challenge. How to transfer the force created by the bigger floors above down through the building. If they can't find a solution, the top floors will be left unsupported and at risk of collapse. Because the floors are smaller at the bottom, so are the spaces where engineers can put the structural supports. The clever design has overcome the site's planning issues but created some very real engineering challenges in the process. To help give the building enough strength to deal with the bigger floors at the top, the engineers construct a very special spine. First, they run steel rebars, linking it top to bottom. They plan to tension the steel rebar every so often using a hydraulic tensioner. Turning it on for the first time should start to pull the spine straight. For the building, it's a momentous moment. Finally, in 2019, Vancouver House is completed, and the result blows the city away. This twisting, turning tower is not just a thing of beauty. It's a gravity-defying wonder showing that overcoming limitations can lead to some of the most creative thinking and daring engineering imaginable.